great Hi. being back here. Him. <laughs> Cheers. That's the, is that Simon? Yeah. by the sign, I'm just going to get me my notes and then we'll right. go through things. Right, we're at the farm now. Um, it is very windy, so um, just bear with us if there's any um, caravan rocking or you can hear the howling the wind. Um, it is started, I think, possibly to spit of rain, but we have got everything in the caravan now. The piping's been done by Hubby, so he's now got it onto the um, electric mains and also um, for the water and in a moment i will be putting the pizzas in the oven because it is about do we know what time it is it is 25 past four 25 past four we did get um permission to um get on site for four o'clock um but most of it is only um open from five o'clock tonight and um we are staying here until monday so um the gentleman is really nice we have seen him in passing but normally he's here during the week like monday to um friday i believe or is it monday to thursday or something like that yeah. but normally we don't see this gentleman and we see other staff members but he seems really nice and he did come um, a few moments ago just to check that everything was okay with the water and the electric they are very strict with obviously social distancing and if the weather um, behaves itself a bit later either today or tomorrow we can quickly show you um you know um the what you call it the gazebo thing yeah whatever you like to call it it's quite a big thing anyway isn't it like marquee yeah. marquee without the sides i believe um but yes yeah. so um i'm going to quickly show you um my packing before i unpack because i meant to have done this before we left and i didn't um i did have quite a muggy head this morning i'm feeling very drained 
um so yeah everything was quite slow going hubby did do a full shift today um but he just finished at two on a friday but normally what happens is he finishes and has half day normally because we like to be on site um for um anything between 12 and one o'clock but obviously you couldn't come on that early so this is the case i have shown this before so this is it um this is actually um a cabin size i understand and this actually came from tesco's um this was reduced down to seven pound 49 from a tra about 24.99 and i've been using it for about three years now maybe longer and it works really well for the weekends um we're away in the cavern even if we've gone for a week um usually by that time i have got um more clothes in the wardrobe here um i will go through a caravan again while we're here this weekend um, i need to do some cleaning um hobby did do some work on it um just before the lockdown so i need to hoover and clean through we've only had one weekend here um beginning of march before the lockdown and usually we've come at least every fortnight and in between that as i said we normally spent like two weeks in may um to cornwall so this is the case and i'll quickly show you um how i pack and works out really well here i have my extra pouches um this set came from amazon again i've been using it about four or five years now it was approximately 5.99 and it has got a number of different sizes like this one and it's got the mesh so really handy if you don't want to unpack um, especially if you're going abroad you can just literally take it out your case and put it straight in to a wardrobe or a chest of drawers and then come with um, different size pouches like these so these are all in different sizes so i put different things in those if need be these were really good there's another one there these are usually good especially if um we wasn't using the caravan you need to take say some form of toiletries and you wanted to pack them in the case they're handy in case there's any leakages so i always keep spare ones in here so i know where they are and the the cube system is in here and this is the rest of the set so um there's more clothes in here than there is normally due to the fact um say we couldn't stock our caravan up before so this one has got all my underwear in as i said it's got this sort of um you know little handle pouch really good so that's mine and then i have hubby's just here and then here i've brought um what i call my leisure jumper my nice disney one which i will wear as um you know when i've got my pajamas on hubby i brought um jogging bottoms because he has those over his pajamas because he does wear shorts and t-shirt pajamas um i wear long pajamas as i said with a t-shirt and i've gone to for my black as i said i prefer those when we're in the caravan there's hobbies pajamas there then what we do is or should i say i do is then any clothing i actually bring them actually on their coat hangers so i can just literally hang them straight up and put them in the wardrobe so i've got i've got two tops um we do have some clothing already in a caravan but since it's not been used since the beginning of march i've got to air everything through hubby's got two t-shirts and then we have got say so get a lot in here on coat hangers again i got um hubby's jeans my spare jeans and then not that they're going to be needed they'll probably end up um going back in the case i have my shorts and his shorts so it is a very surprising what you can actually um get in this case as i said um 
there's an, plenty of clothing for the weekend and um, as I said normally as we progress through the season by this time I bring extra bits so uh, there's extra actually stored in the wardrobe so sometimes it's only a matter of bringing like underwear with us I do have other bags at the back here and I'll show you those in a moment right now for the rest of the luggage when i've emptied the case and um say the call bag because i've already done the large call bag and the smaller one the large one is more bulky stuff and freezer stuff then i have a small one that has like the um you know the butter the milk and cheese and things like that so that's all been put away um i did bring some diet pepsi as well <clears throat> but i did leave some cans in here anyway so that's okay so they're already cold um so the rest of the luggage is here and as i um empty um the pieces if we're only here for a weekend like we're here at the farm then the case and most of the, like the call bag and everything they stay in the boot of the car um i brought all the food with us um, so that's not a problem and also if we happen to be out and um, purchase anything that needs to be stored cold then that can go in the cool bag in the boot of the car um, it's just easier that way if we're here for any length of time and we're not putting the awning up and we're traveling frequently because that's what we tend to do when we're um, away for any length of time we do actually go out near enough all day then the luggage will be stored under the bed this lifts up or if we have the awning if we're here for a week two weeks away at a time then the awning goes up and sometimes the luggage is stored say the case is stored in the awning or again it has the access here um, from the outside so it can go in either way so we do have a ways of storing everything so we're not cluttering up the floor um the wardrobe just mainly want for um clothing it's a standard joke if you can't find anything in the caravan look in the wardrobe they laugh because like at the bottom i keep all the tin stuff because it is the only area that's got the majority of the storage is the wardrobe so mostly i've got food at the bottom that's non-perishable just because it's heavy and I'll go through a lot of this again. I have done it in the past, but I've got a lot of new subscribers since I started um, doing Caravan In and since we showed you um, our systems. So I might just go over them as I will be cleaning and obviously checking what we have. So you know me good old black rucksack. Um, I use that all the time. Then we have the lab laptop case here. I got this on clearance, oh, I'd like to say about seven or eight years ago, and I only paid something like 9.99. And yeah, some people laugh at me like hubby that I remember some of the prices. Bargains, I tend to remember. And this was something like 26.99. It was, it was um, on clearance for 9.99, so I love it. In here, We've got the um, PlayStation 4 in here, great for gaming, DVDs and Blu-ray and that sort of thing. We do bring the small laptop, so this is what we call our caravan laptop. It's, it's very easy um, to store and lightweight so I can actually edit my um, videos while we're away. And then it's just got all the different cables and connections we need so um, that's that one again a lot of stuff due to the fact that um yeah we started caravanning again hopefully if we don't have another lockdown i have my blood pressure monitor in here um just this one and the cuffs there and that's for checking my um glucose levels yes I have to be have everything because we're only here for the weekend I can fit all my medication in this pouch and then I have brought some extra products 
um, as I said, especially the gifts. Um, I had this for, for my birthday. And it's this link set so i thought i'll bring that it's nice to have some um, new toiletries so i've brought that this time um some of these you've already seen i've got this one which is the um, body lotion um this is the organic one and then i have the witch natural clear cleansing lotion so i've got those i've brought those and yes i brought the head soother can't be um too careful and no hubby never did for father's day have his pampered session so guess what i've brought them all with me so i've got i've got two um hand masks because one's mine and one's hubby's i have got the foot masks i've got two different ones of those um I don't think Hubby's going to agree to this, but yes, I do have two face masks. We have a pampered session. And then I've got the cool cucumber eye pad. So I thought, well, it'd be nice to have a pampered session. So I've brought all those. So, yeah. So I've just put them in my lovely, um, yes, I am pretty magical. My unicorn bag that I've had a while that came from Poundland um but i say normally a lot of this would go in the carpet bag which is called the gadget bag the gadget um one of the um containers has been already taken out because we're using the gopro at the moment with, and i wanted the stand so instead of using my phone i'm using the gopro at the moment to do the recording so there may be actually usually it's better um filming and everything so in here yeah good old kindle i have been working through the abby glines books so i bought two of those yes i know i bought my kindle books usually i only read books of like this if i'm in the bath because i don't like to take my kindle in the bathroom for obvious reasons but i've got those anyway um this is to do can you hear the rain hubby's going to get soaked he's just gone off to reception um this is all his stuff for um doing the wicks on his ciggy and then we have all his sicky stuff and bits and pieces that belong to him there any extra cables then i do have my two lots of glasses and i've packed that sewing kit that i said so that is that one so this is what as i said i call the tech bag and there's usually another container which is actually in the dare i say the lounge part and that has all everything to do with gopro and the different components for that so i like the things in the same bags usually you know, in the same order that way i can usually tell if something is missing then this is my craft bag but what i have actually bought this is actually consisting of everything that's to deal with my junk book um because I know that I uploaded, um, you know, a video of the couple of pages I've been doing recently on it and I'm hoping, you know, see how things go, whether we end up um, going into Corby um, Town Centre or possibly one of the retail parks. I have got my mask and gloves and so is hobby so we should be fine they even gave out as we were coming into the site they gave you complimentary um sanitizers brilliant you know from the go and everywhere around the site there's sanitizer going on and also they've done all the um points like for the um electric and the plumbing and everything and we do have to be off by 10 o'clock on Monday, depending on how busy they are, because um, they need to sanitise the whole of the, that point, because each site is a, each pitch is a super pitch, so you've got your um, electrics and water at the side. So we do run piping rather than barrels, because we don't have to 
fill the barrels up and it gets rid of the waste and it gets um, you have your electric there as well so it's very easy to have showers so that is all this i'm not sure what else i'm going to be um videoing today we shall see so, so i'm going to start cooking tea now we do have those um pizzas those cheese crust pizzas we got coleslaw and salad that is what i'm planning to do for tea at some point i will be doing a video on everything um that we've been cooking in the caravan. I've still got some menus from last year to all club together on different menus. I'm just allowing hubby to come in. So that will be it for now and I'll see if I actually do any more videoing. Are you wet darling? Yeah. It's just raining a little bit. So we'll just see how it goes. Right, quite a few people have now turned up. They were expecting, what, about 20, weren't they, turning up um, from about 5 o'clock onwards. So compared to what it was earlier on, it is now um, not full, but it's quite busy, isn't it? Yeah, quarter to nine. Right, I'm just coming on to finish this video. Um, we've just been watching um, a bit of Twilight. Um, we have got the bed semi-made up in the lounge area just so we can watch um, the larger TV. And so I thought I'd finish this video here because it is, um, I think, gone nine o'clock now, isn't it? And um, we've got a busy day, hopefully, tomorrow. Yeah, hubby's yawning his head off behind the camera at the moment so um, we're going to see what the weather's like tomorrow but we're hoping to get out and maybe do a bit of shopping we'll see how we feel and what the weather's like so hopefully you have enjoyed this video thanks for watching goodbye